What's going on guys? Duelum here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Cosmic Crucible Week 6 in review. We're going to go over some fights, some missteps that I had, and then we're also going to go over my defense for week number 7, the last week of this season, and it's a spicy, spicy defense. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Coming into week six, we uh, went one and two. As you can see, we had a little bit of a rough week. Um, but let's start off with trial number one. Uh, you'll see my attacks here. I did superior six into Gamma Dorm. Uh, all of you know Gamma is the bane of my existence, so I took no chances here. Threw in um, superior six. Lizard got deleted by an A-bomb below 50% health, so that was fun. Uh, room number two, we got new warriors going into Rogue, uh, or not Rogue, the MLF with SD. MLF does nothing here as long as you get an offense down with Firestar on her. It does absolutely nothing whatsoever. There is a variant that I'm actually running on defense that involves this uh, that will mess up new warriors, so you can uh, wait till the end for that one. Uh, room three, we did the, he did the, I did the sus, uh, BK, Shang, Doom, and Hella, super straightforward. Doom gets pushed by the pings from Green Goblin from Sus taking two turns in a row. Sus basic, super easy, super straightforward. Uh, room number four, I sacked, and then I came in with MOE APOC. Again, straightforward. Room number five, uh, used Tangled Eternals on this. It was super efficient. It was nothing. Uh, and then room six did the Hive Mind uh, Sin 6 BTS counter on their Infinity Watch. And then on defense, he used um, Sus... Pretty much all the big guns on my room one. So this is a win for me. This room one has been pulling some massive things You can see the red Hulk cap Quicksilver Omega red and uh, green Hulk uh, Room two he almost dropped a fight here even with the pre taunt. So the RNG here did get to him um, Super super close. Honestly, everybody was one health uh, would have been nice to get a win here uh, here he had the luxury of using war dogs because it's a 1 million punch down. This guy's an animal and has war dogs that big, so good for him. Uh, room number four, we're going to watch this one. He used MOE and then used Iron Patriot over the Ultron to one-shot my BK Extreme Rogue in four. Um, and the way this works is essentially Iron Patriot passive just, just gives 50% damage to all of MOE and it just rips. So you'll see Titania does the special there, um, and then he's got a vulnerable on him. And then Kang, what you should do here, I think he basics, but you should special here. Yeah, he basics. You should special there because it ignores defense up, but my BK is literally just gone. Uh, then he's going to stun the rogue so rogue doesn't get the taunt up. He lets Gambit take his turn. Doesn't really matter. Uh, he lets Nightcrawler take his turn in a second, and then it's Kang essentially going again and uh, deleting more people. I think he uses the basic again, if I'm not mistaken. He does. I don't know why he used the basic there. I think he could have uh, he could have done better if he used the special on uh, Nightcrawler to get all the primary and adjacent damage. That's probably what I would have done. Um, but as you can see here, it's a super straightforward fight. He just melts me. Titania deletes Rogue because of the double the extra 50% damage offense up, um, and then it's pretty much over here. Iron Patriot does take a turn. I think he dies. Uh, Titania and Iron Patriot die here. Uh, you see Kang ult, and then it, it's pretty much over from here. Uh, it's it, yeah, dude. Uh, Iron Patriot's no joke. He gives that fifty percent damage to uh, MOE, and they just shred Black Knights, especially when um, when you have a smaller Black Knight. Uh, even mine is six six uh, G eighteen level ninety nine, and he got shredded. So. Uh, that was one of the main reasons why I lost here, because I had to sack and he didn't. Um, so that is his room four attack. Um, and then in room five, super easy tangled as usual on a dark hold. And then room six, he used hive mind on the Bifrost Dormammu. So super straightforward. He actually used the vulture there too. Pretty easy. Uh, week number two, my attacks. I used MOE into the uh, unlimited with Phoenix. Uh, the Phoenix really didn't do anything here. The Phoenix did survive a little bit. Um, she didn't get to do her cleanse because I did the stun on Gambit, and then it hit Phoenix as well, so super easy. Uh, here is going to be the Lizard New Warriors counter into um, SD Noir, which we can watch as well. Uh, this counter is absolutely insane. I love this counter because we're usually dropping Lizard from Superior 6 anyway for Vulture. 
to make that matchup better. Um, and honestly, making this matchup not have RNG and still being able to use new warriors here is one of my favorite things. So what you'll see here is Noir will still go first. And then what's going to happen next is Lizard will go. So he's going to steal all those buffs off of them. And then Hardlight's going to go and has to target Lizard. Um, then Gwen's going to flip everything. So you'll see Black Cat here doesn't have any death proofs. So I'm able to rewind this clump here and just delete this. So it doesn't even matter. Um, this counter is absolutely nuts. There's also another counter uh, with Emma over a Lizard here. And the reason why the Emma, so you're saying obviously Photon stops Emma from working, but Emma will slow down Noir enough to make it so Ms. Marvel Hardlight will go first. So you're going to dodge the potential rewind that would mess up any the RNG for New Warriors. And then uh, Noir would go, and then you play it normally. You do the exact same. You play everything pretty much normally. Um, you wouldn't be able to rewind the Black Cat and stuff because you wouldn't have Lizard pulling things off. But it's another lower budget option if you want to save your lizard or you need your lizard elsewhere. So it's another option. But I like the lizard because no matter the placement, you can always hit that black cat and you have no issues whatsoever, which I really, really, really like. Um, but it seems like SD with Noir is getting taken out, which is lovely because that RNG was really annoying. Uh, we're going to hop back in here and we'll go back into week number two. So, fight number three, same old Infinity Watch punch-up. Um, people are trying to say this is the Duelum comp. Stop it. It's not. I did not come up with this. Somebody smarter than me did. I just copied them and did way, way bigger punch-ups than people expected to do. Uh, but if you haven't seen this, I got a lot of Cosmic Crucible videos involving this. Uh, room number four, this was an absolutely nuts fight. Um, Black Knight is a 6-6 six -six here. So, um, he's not like the one diamonds that some of you guys might see. I know. But it does work on a one diamond. I used We used it in Run 7 Stream. Uh, I made him use it. I bullied him into using it. And it absolutely worked. So the thought process behind this is you get Sus to go first here. He can put that exposed. The exposed really doesn't matter. All you're doing is hoping for some vulnerables to land. Um, so that's why Sus is a raider. And then what's going to happen is VK is then going to go. And VK is going to ult on Black Knight here. This flips everything. This is a little bit of RNG. It may not flip everything because of the deflex. That's something you can't avoid. Uh, but it has flipped here. Uh, and then I have Carnage as a striker here. So what Carnage is going to do is going to ult on the Black Knight here. And you'll see he puts that defense down, does a bunch of damage. The Kestrel ping and then the striker attack just deletes him. So Black Knight, a non-event there. The exact same thing happened with a one diamond Black Knight um, when Run7 did it as well. So it's definitely tried and true even on bigger teams uh, and even when Carnage doesn't have two diamonds on him like mine does here. And then you'll see Kestrel just deletes everybody and then it's pretty much over from here. So if you're seeing a smaller Black Knight in Room 4, this counter worked really, really well. Um, Honestly, the only reason I brought the sus is in was for insurance policy. I don't know if the super scrolls even needed because uh, especially if the Black Knight's a lot lower. So uh, another option for you guys to take out a Black Knight that you might see in room number four. Um, it, it worked really, really well. I'm, I'm super happy I was able to do that. I had never seen anybody do that before. So pretty cool. Uh, room number five, we did Superior Six on their Jubilee Extreme thing. Super easy, super straightforward. I use Doom because I use Lizard in room two. And then room number six, uh, we've got a Sus, Dorm, Vol, Beta Ray, Bill, and Quicksilver in room six. Uh, so I treated this like it was like a Darkhold scroll or um, any, any other team that had scroll on it that you just go faster than and you stun scroll turn one. Um, so essentially you just use Cable, Nova, Emma, just Weaver, and then Apoc here. Uh, the Weaver is a skirmisher to make sure this stun lands on Sus here. So the stun does land, it's super easy. Then I stun Quicksilver, Apoc, I do the punch on Super Scroll as well, just to make sure he's dead, not taking any chances. Um, and then from here, it's, it's pretty easy. Super Scroll's dead, um... And then it's just, you play it out from here. Cable got to take a turn. That was awesome. I loved that. Um, and then from here out, you just you just play the fight out normally. It's pretty easy. Uh, I do get a lucky permakill on Vol when uh, I get a retaliate. But you can see the charges are nullifying anything that they would do. And then um, 
Dormammu's dead. Beta Ray Bill just got perma killed as well. And then Nova has the perma kills. Almost killed Vol, but it didn't. Uh, was able to take Quicksilver. A lot, of, a lot of damage on Quicksilver here with the Emma. Again, I still have charges, so everything's going to miss. And then um, you'll see here, I get lucky. They don't target the cable. They retaliate perma kill, and then I kill Quicksilver there. So it was a really good matchup for me. That one worked out really well. I was actually uh, pretty shocked how well that worked. Um, I was confident it was going to win, but I didn't think it was going to be that efficient with Emma and Cable not dying. Um, also, I absolutely hate that it kicks me out every single time I finish a replay. But that was room six, so let's get into the defenses here. Um, again, this is pulling superior six. I find this is a win, even though it's super efficient. He's using superior six on this. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Uh, room two, he used the um, the New Warriors with Lizard on my SD Noir as well. Uh, then he used a big time dark hold, really inefficient here, and that actually cost him the win. Uh, room number four, you'll see he one shot with Iron Patriot once again. Same thing, a 57. Uh, room number five, Tangled going into dark hold, super straightforward, and then again the Hive Mind Vulture going into my um, Hero Asgard Dormammu, and then for round number three, we've got um, Hive Mind Sus going into this extreme with Rogue. Uh, it's pretty much just control them. You get to Sus's turn. Sus goes boom and deletes everybody. It's really funny to watch. Uh, room number two, I, he had a Bifrost with a Nova, and I just used New Warriors. It clearly slapped it, 8369. Room three, he had Darkhold in here. Same Darkhold counter. I used Emma here just in case for the Loki. Um, so if if you don't get the slow on Morgan Le Fay from 2099, Morgan Le Fay will go first. So the Emma's the insurance policy. Room number four, uh, I tried to one-shot this, and I came really, really close. Um, so I, I thought Apoch Superior 6 Vulture would be good here. Vulture did not pull off the taunt from Black Knight, which was really frustrating. Um, both times I actually tried to do this. Uh, and then, but what happens here is they take their own revives off when they take turns. Uh, Sus can't get ability blocks on my team because of the Green Goblin Classic. Uh, charges, so I thought this was going to work. It came really close, so I had combat canceled. Came in with the Zemo sack because Dormammu was not a fortifier. So I sacked with Zemo to take the uh, the revives out. It's literally you just load in, let Zemo passive proc and time out, and that's it. And then I came in with the same team again, and I still could not clear um, because their super scroll did end up living. I'll show this replay. You'll see uh, my Vulture, even as a Skirmisher and with Black Knight having exhaust, I was not able to get the taunt off. And that really just really messed up this fight big time. Um, even even having the exhaust, no charges stuff, no charges proccing, no retaliates, anything like that. It was really frustrating. But you'll see there's no revives now because I did like 80 damage to Dormammu with the sack. Um, not taking off that... Uh, that taunt was rough um, and then obviously super scroll targeting the uh, summon that I pulled out was really rough too honestly uh, that summon is a pretty big key for this to work because the summon will give energy and then the energy will be doubled when he specials so the summon taking turn a uh, turn is is pretty pretty essential um, you'll see Omega Red just died to primary and adjacent damage from the charges so I got some energy there um, then the dorm also targeted where the summon was at. So the summon ends up dying, which is really unfortunate. Um, if the summon lives here and I get the extra energy, honestly, I feel like I could have won this. Uh, it's just, it, it is what it is. It happens. Like it's, it's the way the game works sometimes. Um, just targeting RNG and stuff like that. Sus gets to ult. Um, and then my team is still alive. They're starting to fall apart now though. Uh, and this is where the pucker factor kicks in. You'll see there's a safeguard and a taunt on Black Knight here. So that ended up ruining me. Uh, unfortunately, not having not having enough damage to pull off that taunt and getting that ability block on uh, Black Knight from the APOC was just rough. Uh, if I pulled off that taunt with Vulture and I got the ability block on Black Knight, Black Knight wouldn't special get the safeguard and... Uh, get the safeguard and the taunt and I would have been able to clear this uh, and then you'll see it's just a one-on-one -on -one here But unfortunately super scroll just bests me um, I was actually one turn away from getting my ult with APOC, but it was just a little bit too far too gone 
um, that is a three diamond APOC and just couldn't pull it off. So was not able to clear his room four. Good on him. Room four was a, was a rough one. It was a really cool room. I actually liked it. Um, I'm doing something kind of similar to it, but not super, super, uh, not the exact same for my defense, which we'll show here in a minute. Um, but let's go back into my attacks here. So room four, no clear. Room five, it doesn't matter how big the Pegasus is. They're just going to get railed by Eternals. You can use Namor here for funsies because he's more damage, a rewind. Shang-Chi, damage, rewind. OG Falcon for the speed up for your team. Uh, and then I used MOE onto a Gamma uh, with Quicksilver here. Really efficient as well. Then uh, room one, again, taking a superior six. Again, I find that as a win. Um, room number two, he got good RNG. New Warriors did fine here. Room number three, MOE onto my Infinity Watch. Uh, A360, pretty good. Room number four, he did the BO sack, the Black Order sack. So he literally just comes in, doesn't do anything, and then times out. Um, and then... Room no and then he came back in with M uh, with uh, Hive Mind and Apoc did well. Room number five, he used SD with Namor on my Dark Hold and absolutely deleted it. And then room six, Tangled Eternals, uh, Archangel just deletes the um, Dorm and Bifrost. So one and two obviously need to change some things up. And here's what we're going to be doing for defense. Room number one, we're keeping pretty much the same, but we are taking the OG cap out and we are putting in namor instead so the thought behind namor here is he's going to ult turn one he could be below 50 percent health and he's going to get that 200 percent damage as a raider um he should be a raider here as well because of that 50 percent health so just another damage dealer that's in here um that could potentially do really really good um, but this is going to be room number one Room number two, we're going to be messing with new warriors here. So we're going to be running the Morgan to mess with new warriors, but then the Loki, who's going to give more speed to the Morgan and make Morgan Le Fay go before Firestar. So if you're catching people off guard and they're not paying attention, uh, this will beat new warriors or make it really inefficient. Obviously, the two weaker characters in the back uh, and then the three biggest characters on an island. Robbie Stryker, always good. Uh, room number three, we still have Infinity Watch. Snooze Fest, this takes a good team to beat, though, so we're always going to keep Infinity Watch in there. Room number four, super spicy, super awesome. I'm running sus on defense. That's right. Uh, sus, Black Knight, Dormammu, Vol, and Thanos. So obviously, Black Knight and Vol are heroes. Thanos and Dorm are villains. Uh, you'll see I have uh, Dormammu as a fortifier here so that he, you can't do that Baron Zemo sack like I did on my opponent. Um, so this will nullify that to make it a little bit harder. Um, the Black Knight, always a nuisance if you don't sack. Even if you do sack, he's still a nuisance. Thanos, I know he's a super low character. Actually, my Thanos is pretty big. He's like 420k. But if he dies, oh well, then Black Knight's on an island and there's no primary and adjacent damage. Uh, I know it gives energy, but I think the energy that the one energy that it gives is negligible compared to how strong this team is and sus getting the villain bonus. Uh, and he's one of my strongest villains that I could put in here. Vol putting out another exposed mechanic, so it's another ticking time bomb if Vol gets to her ultimate. That'd be nice. And then sus is always just annoying. And then Dormammu with the revives, the charge mechanic, potentially getting to his ult to rebalance. Um, I see this room being an absolute nightmare personally. Uh, and then room number five, we've got full out of time, obviously minus the Black Knight, and then rescue. Uh, the reason why I'm running this is my out of time is as big as they're going to get. Um, Star-wise, they're like 3-3, three, 4-4, three, four, four, whatever it is for the two new characters. Reworks are obviously massive. Um, but I'm just running this in here because it's something that's going to take a lot of turns because Peggy and, and Cap are so big. Uh, and then people are probably going to try to new warriors this, which is just fine. I'll take it. It's just a room that doesn't take anything from my offense. And it's a pretty decent sized defense that they may overestimate or underestimate. Uh, Rescue's in here because her ultimate clears all negative effects from all allies and gives immunity. So that's good. Um, and Rescue's pretty big. And I've never used Rescue on offense. I really don't use Pegasus on offense much. And then in room number six, we're going to be doing Extreme with Rogue, taking out that Sunspot. So obviously we have... Um, we have the Rogue, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, Gambit, and Forge. Uh, I'm actually going to run uh, Rogue as a striker since she's going to be the only striker on the board. Uh, this team is always going to be a nuisance, so I'm trying to make people pick between using Superior 6 in 6 or 1 
or in four with like an APOC and Vulture trying to get through this. Um, they also could mess up with new warriors here and try to use superior six here. Um, I'm trying to spread them more thin because there's one shots to that Black Knight comp now. Uh, that Black Knight Extreme Rogue in four because of Iron Patriot coming out. So I'm trying to make it a little bit harder on my opponent uh, by spreading them a little bit more thin. But this is going to be my defense for room uh, week number seven. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys pulled something off my defense, let me know. Or if you think something can be improved, leave a comment down below. But until next time, this has been Doolum. Later, y'all. Mm -hmm.